Have you tried training methods that just didn't work? Do you feel that your pet is not getting his or her nutritional needs met? Are illnesses and bad behavior your daily norm? You're going to want to join me on the Pet Parenting Reset, where you'll hear interesting and informative interviews and get solutions to all your pet problems. I'm your host, Jessica L. Fisher. Well, hello, dear you wonderful pet parents. Welcome back to the Pet Parenting Reset. I'm your host, Jessica L. Fisher. Thank you so much for joining me again this week. We are talking about our cats nocturnal. So I see so many people with cats asking about how they can stop their cat from waking them up in the middle of the night. And we're going to get to that. Let me tell you. So I thought we'd kind of round this into like put this all in a pretty little uh, basket with a bow on top and talk about um, our cats and I decided to go with nocturnal mostly because it's very popular on answer the public so <laughs> let's talk about it um really quick before we get into it if you have not already uh and if you are enjoying the podcast I hope you do give it a five-star review wherever you listen to your podcasts and I hope you give us a follow as well I say us it's me I do have interviews on from time to time in fact I have a very exciting interview coming up in two weeks yeah, let's get into the idea of are cats nocturnal? And it's very, very common. Most people think if you were to ask almost anybody that isn't, I don't know, a veterinarian or somebody who actually studies animals, even veterinarians, some veterinarians might say that, yes, in fact, cats are nocturnal. However, that's not technically true. Possums, bats, raccoons, they're nocturnal animals. They are true nocturnal animals. And I apologize if you're hearing any scratching in the background. Kim is in her crate and she's rooting around back there. So um, cats are what is called crepuscular. I hope I said that right. I'm, I'm, I tend to read words a lot and I think I know how they sound and they're supposed to say it. Anyway, they're crepuscular, meaning that they are most active at dusk and at dawn. So if your cat is waking you up at night definitely stick around we're going to talk a little bit more about that but we're going to talk first about the idea that cats are most active and they are their ancestors like that's just how they're wired they are most active at dusk and at dawn and there are lot there's there's a very good reason for this cats are uh, and their ancestors are desert animals. So there are a lot of benefits to hunting at dusk and dawn because they are in the desert. That's where their species uh, is native, right? Um, it is cooler at dusk and at dawn. So that's one thing. Another thing is, and we have talked about this before, is that cats are both predator and prey. So if they have a little bit of cover of darkness, then they are a little bit, one, are a little bit safer from their predators and all, or from their predators, yes, from being prey. And also it gives them a little heads up on their prey, so it makes them better predators. That is when they are predisposed to like naturally be awake and be most active is at dusk and at dawn. Now we know that our cats sleep a lot, like guys, cats sleep a lot um so you know depending on where you look you're gonna find different statistics on this but somewhere around 15 hours a day is what you're gonna find for how much cats sleep and you're awake during the day so when you see your cat sleeping a lot during the day you just naturally think oh well they must be up all night because they're sleeping all day that's how our like human brains are wired but they actually um will sleep throughout the day and throughout the night, dusk and dawn are their most active times. So it's really important though to say just because they are, they do sleep more <laughs> than we do at least, uh, right around somewhere around 15 hours a day and every cat's an individual. So, you know, your cat may be a little bit different. They're not lazy and they also never really get any deep sleep in general. Again, every cat is an individual, but they don't have very deep sleep patterns like we do. Our, our dogs actually have some pretty deep sleep patterns as well. 
And that is again, because they are also prey, well, also both predator and prey, right? So they need to be like instantly awake if they hear a loud noise, which you'll, you probably have noticed if there is some sort of loud noise that your cat is like instantly up and completely alert, like instantaneously. That's how they're designed because they need to be able to protect them themselves if there is a predator in the area. Um, and also if they hear a little noise, then it, it might be a little mouse or rabbit or something for them to uh, quickly grab and eat as well, because cats are in the wild will eat small meals multiple times a day, whatever they can catch throughout the day, right? So they might hunt and hunt and hunt and every, you know, roughly, third or fourth time, they're actually going to catch <laughs> what they're uh, looking to hunt and that they eat, they get a, a little small meal out of it. And that gives them fuel and energy to do it all over again. So it is very important for our cat. These, these are, your cat is not different. I mean, your cat is special. Every cat is special. Don't get me wrong, but this is normal for our cats. This is normal. And Another thing about hunting at dusk and dawn, cat's eyes are actually incredibly amazing. So let's talk a little bit more about that being most active at dusk and dawn and having the advantage uh, to their prey because cats are actually absolutely wonderful at they're very, very good at seeing in very low light conditions. So it is not true that cats can see in pitch dark. If there is absolutely no ambient light around, they are just as blind as we are. But if there is a little bit of ambient light, that is perfect. Their eyes are adept at using that ambient light to its max, right? They are going to get all they can out of it and they are going to be able to see pretty darn well with that ambient light, which is a decided advantage over any prey animals that, 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 they, that they're chasing and tracking, right? That they're hunting and they want to eat. <laughs> so this is something that I did want to talk to you guys about. And we're going to right now, here we are, we're getting into it guys. If you are that person that has that question about my cat is keeping me up at night or my cat wakes me up in the middle of the night. I want to refer you back to, um, we're going to talk about it here, don't get me wrong, but I definitely want you to go back to the episode in September where we talked about raising a happy, healthy indoor cat. There were lots, I mean, that episode was jam packed with tips for raising a happy, healthy cat. And one of those tips we're going to talk about right now, because this is going to be a lifesaver for you. All right, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? Okay. Hunt, stalk, kill, eat, clean, sleep. This is a six part pattern that is very natural for your cat. And they don't get it when they are generally, unless you are intentionally doing this with your cats. And this is what, this is the tip. We need to be doing this with our cats. And hopefully we can do this with our cats multiple times a day. But if we can only do this with our cats once a day, right before bed is when we're going to want to do that, do this. So hunt, stalk, kill, eat, clean, sleep. We want to incorporate this routine in our cat's life. It is going to be a game changer for you and for your cat. So this is something that our cats are doing in the wild. If we look at any cat in the wild, this is what they're doing. And we want to, um, we want to recreate this in a safe way in our home for our cats. So we want to engage them with interactive play. And the best way to do this, uh, to mimic this hunting and stalking behavior is with a very, there's uh, one particular, I don't generally like to call out names or, or brands or anything like that, but there is this one particular toy and there are similar toys to it, but it's called Da Bird, D-A, Bird, B-I-R-D. And it is a very, very low profile, um, not a string, but like a wire. And at the end of it, it has a nice fun toy for our cats. And we want to engage our cats with interactive play, meaning you are involved, <laughs> right? And we want this to mimic as much as we can how a cat would interact with their prey in the wild. So when we are playing with our cat, we want them to be chasing. 
So we're not in their face, waving, waving, waving. You might need to do that a little bit to get them engaged uh, in the beginning, but that's not how a, pre a prey animal is gonna act in the wild. They're gonna be trying to get away from your cat. So we want to engage. However, we need to engage our cat to say, now it's time to play, right? And have them chase, have them chase, have them chase. About every third time your cat pounces and tries to get the toy, they need to get the toy. Now, that doesn't mean that play is over. We wanna do this for a good 10, 15 minutes would be really wonderful, right? Uh, at a time, and if we can do this multiple times a day, that would be even better. But again, if we can only do it once a day, if that's all time permits, then right before bed is gonna be when we wanna do it. But we want to, about every third time, let your cat catch the toy. That is going to mimic their, um, how, how they would be able to catch, chase and catch uh, prey animals in the wild. And it's going to keep them engaged and keep them interested. If they never catch the toy, they're gonna to become very disinterested, very quick. And that's not what we want, right? We wanna keep them interested. So about every third time, make sure they are catching the toy and keep doing this. We want this interactive play to go on for hopefully, depending on your cat, of course, we wanna take into consideration anything that may be going on with your cat that, um, you know, maybe if you're working with a very obese cat and you're trying to get some weight off of your cat, maybe you might not want to go quite as long uh, because you don't want to push your cat to the point of exhaustion. We want to work up to it. Um, that's just one case off the top of my head that might be, <laughs> um, uh, you know, something we want to think about in addition. But in general, with most cats, a good 10 to 15 minute play session is going to be wonderful. Now, at the end of this play session, we want to feed our cats, hopefully, um, a a diet that is, I don't want to say, just not a dry diet. Like that's that's the goal, right? Whether that is a raw food diet or a freeze-dried raw diet, but if you are doing a freeze-dried raw, you know, we need to supplement. And moisture rich is is very, very important. So high quality canned foods, if, if that's the way that you need to go, um, I, I get you, I'm right there with you. But moisture rich, definitely, <laughs> uh, hopefully, right? And eat our cat at the end of the play session. Now, let your cat eat. And what happens after your cat eats? They're gonna bathe themselves. And then what happens after they bathe themselves? They're gonna take a nice long nap, right? So this is what I want you to get in the, the habit of with your cat, get in this routine with your cat, especially, uh, again, if you can only do it once a day, do it right before bedtime. This is gonna be a game changer for you and for your cat. So. To answer the question about our cats nocturnal, the technical answer is no. Um, they are not. They are crepus. Ah, am I saying that right? They are crepuscular. Crepuscular, <laughs> meaning they are most active at dawn and at dusk. But I do hope that this episode was informative and gave you an action plan. If you are one of those people that are interested in finding out, or you're just looking up our cats nocturnal because you're having the issue of uh, your cat waking you up in the middle of the night, then I hope this was helpful. And I do hope you go to go back to check out that half raising a happy, healthy cat episode. Uh, it was just a couple of weeks ago. So I hope you do check that out as well. There are lots of tips there for our cat parents. If nobody has told you today, you are enough. Yeah, you are. And let me tell you, you are so much more capable and competent than, than these big pet food companies would lead you to believe. Let me tell you, I have faith in you. You are a wonderful pet parent. You know, as long as you are doing the best you can with what you have and you keep learning, then you keep, I mean, you're doing awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I do hope you check out the Patreon family. We get all new and exclusive content over there. We really are a family over there. I share some much more personal things. Um, we go into detail about a lot of stuff. You can ask questions over there. I do hope to see you over uh, and join the family over on Patreon. Again, if you would prefer to or just want to follow up and watch the video, you can do so on YouTube and Rumble. Everywhere I am on social media is the Pet Parenting Reset. So I hope to see you wherever you are that I also am. <laughs> Um, thanks again for hanging out with me today. I know this podcast was a little bit shorter. That's okay. Let me tell you, the one we're going to have in a couple weeks 
is much, much longer and still about cats because that's how we do here. We kind of, right, right now at least, we're rotating every other week, cats and dogs, cats and dogs. So stick in there with me. If you are just a cat parent, there is plenty of cat content on this podcast and coming up on this podcast if you are just a dog parent same for you but we have a lot of bipetual households and i would love to know more about you and your pets so definitely reach out join the patreon fam i can learn all about you and your pets and yeah thank you so much for being here please give your dog and cat or dogs and cats depending (laughs) on your situation some extra love from me today and i can't wait to see you again next week bye guys Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.